Get on in here. It's time for our tea. So let's get our tea coming. I got two bags in this little cup. I got an Earl Grey and a Oolong. So it's going to be good and strong. So come on in. We're going to have... Sit down and rest a spell, as my granny used to say. Sit down and rest a spell. Hey, when you think about, I mean, I'm, I'm 63 years old, y'all. And I remember going to visit people on Sunday afternoons and on Saturday afternoons. I remember doing that. And it's kind of fun to think about it in the past. Now, these days... We would not like it if somebody just showed up at our door for a visit because we have to announce ourselves three days ahead of time. And wouldn't it be nice if we could get back into going to visit people and people not being upset when we did it. So everybody grab your tea. Isn't it a pretty mug? I have two of these. One's a straight up and down mug, and this one's a little curved, and it really, it's got some purple on it. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's a good cup of tea. Okay, it's teapot time. Teapot time. I get to draw a topic. You know, I had 13 pages of topics, and we've been going through them. Now, I'm going to dig in my teapot and go down to the bottom and grab one. I have it. Let me put my lid back on my teapot. And so I'll know which one I got to draw from the next time. I'm going to pull my little wise owl to the front. I'm going to open this up. It's long. It's a big one. Okay, this says, I say I apologize. This is me talking. I never thought of that before. I'm sorry the original meaning is. I regret having done what I did or said. But the more modern meaning of I'm sorry is I am no good. A fly baby told me that I'm sorry stuff back in 2001. Let's think about it. We've been practicing our I am's, our I am, you know, the I am stuff. Let me put my, I am. And I say, I apologize. When I've done something that has offended somebody, I say, I apologize. That's the action. And when... I don't want to say that I am sorry because I'm I'm not that connotation of that word. So folks, the I am's are very important to us. I have a whole I have a picture of somebody who has written down all of their I am's on a sheet of paper. The I am how does she I am able I am anointed. I am. It's just a lot of them here and it's little tiny writing. But she did it. She did it on a piece of paper. And these messages have been helping folks go to sleep at night to change the way. Un Let's see. I'm going to. There we go. Maybe that'll do better. So please be aware of the words that come out of your mouth. I was wrong. Will you forgive me? That's great, Sandra. That's great. Forgiveness is the key. You know, the Bible teaches us to forgive seven times 70. And apologizing is the start of forgiveness. But guess what? You do not need somebody's forgiveness to be able to apologize. It doesn't matter if they... They give you their forgiveness. It doesn't matter. But you have to be willing to apologize to go that next step. But for you, 
forgiving others. People, a lot of times unforgiveness is the poison that we take to kill that other person. Think about it. We are damaging, we are polluting our souls with this unforgiveness and we think it's hurting them. They may not even know what they have done to cause you to have these hard feelings toward them. But when we forgive them, it lets go of that anger that we have toward them. And the best revenge you can get, not that revenge is a good thing, but the best revenge you can get is to let it go and it not really matter to you. To laugh it off. And forgiving yourself is all a part of finally loving yourself. And we talk about this in, in our Body Clutter book. Forgiving yourself is a, is a major part of who we are as fly babies because that self-forgiveness is going to change other people. It's just going to change other people because when you forgive yourself, you let go of the anger that you have towards yourself. When you forgive others, you let go of the anger that you have toward them. And it doesn't matter. Now, if they've done something really awful to you, you might not want to forget it. You know, people say forgive and forget. Well, you still have to guard your heart a little bit, I believe. But... When people show you who they are, when people show you who they are, believe them. Believe them. If they show you that they're a forgiving person, believe them. If they show you that they're a hateful person, believe them. So please let go of the anger and resentment you have for other, others apologize if you need to and then get on with your life because the best revenge is not caring what they think or caring what anybody thinks because you know we got a bad review on on my new book um the chaos cure the other day said it was it was um all over the place that's the way i wrote it I wanted it to be fun. I didn't want it to flow. I wanted you to be able to open it up. Now there's, there's chapters and we skip around in the chapters and do lots of fun things in each chapter. There's lots of fun little pictures. But this book was meant to be written in that form, format. And I had a great time doing it. So let's have a big drink and let's think about, you can write these down on a little piece of paper. Uh, one good way to help get rid of the guilt that you feel is to take a piece of paper and write down what it is you're feeling guilty about. What, what it is you have a hard time um, forgiving yourself for. And put it, write it down on a piece of paper and then take a, a cigarette lighter, some kind of lighter, and go outside and, and put it in a little pie plate or in your fire pit and set that on fire. Watch it go up in smoke. And where's that smoke go? It goes up. What's up there? Our Heavenly Father. That's where forgiveness is born. God sent his only son so that we could be freed of our guilt and our sins. Yes, the, the Chaos Cure book is in, on audio and I read it and it's on Amazon that way. So everybody take a big drink. My brother-in-law is giving me compliments because I've been using his his neck cream and face cream, and he's really proud of me for being consistent. He really is. So y'all, drink up.
to forgiving yourself and loving yourself and letting go of the anger that we feel toward ourselves. And sometimes we need to apologize to ourselves for treating ourselves ugly. So let go of it. Be kind to you. Be a good deed doer. Do great things for others. I just got through watching a movie, a war movie. Mm. And I know it was about a Mormon missionary. They don't ever mention Mormon, but I have a lot of Mormon friends. And this was before World War II. And this young man had been sent to Germany to be a missionary in Germany. And I know it's all fiction, but because he was a missionary, he learned German. And because he learned German, it was able to save a lot of people. And it was just a wonderful story. And I, I'm, I'm watching these uh, Christian movies on Pure Flix. P-U-R-E-F-L-I-X. It's an app. Saints and Soldiers. Yes, it is. That's the name of it. And it was so good. It was so good. And, you know, I have Amy, Amy Lacey, who wrote all our music. Her son is going to be going to to Wisconsin, I believe it is, Wisconsin or Minnesota, on his mission trip. So there are some wonderful mission trips. Ashton Dodge, he went to Alaska. He has lots of friends in Alaska now. So there's there's some great movies on there. And message, Dina is uh, my baby sister. Jay is my brother-in-law. So folks... Drink your tea and uh, drink your tea and let's drink to forgiveness. Forgiveness of ourselves, forgiveness of others. And it's just so powerful. Forgiveness is the most powerful thing you can do to, to fly. Finally loving yourself. Loving yourself is letting go of that anger and resentment. It's so it is so um, hurtful to you. And it could be stopping you from getting things done. This anger and guilt that we have about silly things, just silly things. So if you can't forgive yourself, realize that God has, and when you ask God for forgiveness, he's going to do it because he sent his son here to die for us. To wash all our sins away. Here's to forgiveness. You can do it, y'all. I love you all. Let go of your anger and resentment toward others. And apologize if you need to. Apologize if you need to. There's nothing wrong with that. I love you all. Drink up. Wow. I will talk to you tomorrow. We'll, we'll only do one show tomorrow. It'll be tea time. We don't want to miss tea time. See you later.